Dick Whittington. Once upon a time, there lived a poor boy called Dick Whittington. Dick lived in the countryside and had no mother or father, only a clever cat. Meow. One day, Dick decided he was bored of the quiet forest where he lived. Let's go to London, Puss. I've heard the streets of London are paved with gold. Dick said. Meow, said the cat. So Dick and his cat set off to seek their fortune. It was a very long way. They walked all night, and just as dawn was breaking, this is what they saw: London Town. Whoa! Just look at it, Puss. London. I can't wait to make my fortune. Meow. Come on, Puss. Dick and his cat walked into the city, and soon arrived outside a rich merchant's house. They were very tired. Meow. No, Puss. We can't rest here. Well, maybe for a little bit. Said Dick, but before he could sit down, the door flew open and an angry cook appeared. What are you doing? Get away from this house and take your filthy cat out of the window box. She's not hurting anyone. We won't be any trouble. I don't care. Get her away from this house, horrible creature. Fortunately, as the cook was shouting at them, help arrived. What is happening here, Cook? For the house belonged to the kindest merchant in the city and his beautiful daughter Alice. This horrible boy won't move his stinking cat out of your window box," said the cook. "Please, sir, we have walked a long way, and she is very tired." Meow. The merchant's beautiful daughter looked at Dick and his cat. Father. This boy and his cat look so tired and hungry. Can't we help them somehow? The merchant said, "What's your name, young man?" "My name's Dick Whittington, and I've come to London to make my fortune." "Come in then, Dick Whittington. You can start with a job in my kitchen," said the merchant. And so Dick and the cat went to work in the grand house. Dick worked hard every hour of the day, but nothing was ever good enough for the cook. This floor is filthy. Sweep it all again. Meow. Dick sighed. <sighs> This wasn't what he'd imagined London would be like. By nightfall, Dick was always very tired after working so hard all day. Dick had nowhere to sleep but the kitchen floor. It was very cold, and each night dozens of rats and mice would come scurrying out looking for crumbs. Oh, rats! Get 'em, puss! Meow. And in the blink of an eye, Dick's cat had killed all the rats. <coughs> You are a clever puss. Brr, brr. Just then, Alice came in. I brought you a blanket. I knew that mean cook wouldn't have given you one, and it is so cold tonight. Look, it's snowing. Dick couldn't believe his luck. The blanket was thick and so warm. It was exactly what he needed. Oh, thank you! Dick thought Alice was as beautiful as she was kind. Soon, the merchant was getting ready for his summer voyage to trade in a rich, faraway country. This was Dick's chance to earn his fortune, but 
he only had one thing to sell. His clever cat. Meow. Please, sir, will you take my cat? She is very clever and very good at catching rats. You won't get anything for that mangy thing. But the merchant could see that Dick didn't have anything else. Of course I will, Dick. You will have all of the money that I get for your clever cat. The merchant and the cat boarded the ship, and all too soon, it left. Meow. Goodbye, puss. I'll miss you. After a few weeks, he could bear it no longer. He decided to leave the city and go back to his home in the country. It took him hours, but finally he made it to the edge of London, right to the top of Highgate Hill. Suddenly, he heard the bells of Bow Church chiming. It sounded like they were saying. Turn again, Whittington, Lord Mayor of London. Could this be true? Dick started walking back to the merchant's house, hoping his fortunes would soon turn. Little did Dick know, whilst he had been away, they already had. Dick, I've been looking for you everywhere. Alice told Dick that his cat had saved a very rich king from a plague of rats, and that her father had sailed back to London with a whole boat of gold as a reward. That's your fortune, Dick Whittington. Oh, you clever puss! Meow. <laughs> oh, Dick. Uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Whittington, sir. The cook was very sorry for how she had treated Dick. I'll forgive you if you promise to be kind for the rest of your days. Oh, thank you, thank you. I do, I do promise. I will be kind for the rest of my days. Dick did so many clever and kind things with his money that soon Bow Bell's prediction came true. He was elected. Lord Mayor of London, and soon after that, he married Alice, and they all lived happily ever after.